Which you guys, today we're taking a look at fixing a common problem with old laptops, and that is to do with driver support. A lot of manufacturers that make these laptops will see support and stop supplying free drivers, and then you have to try and find and source these drivers, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. But before we go ahead and start to fix this old laptop, I want to have a quick word from today's sponsor which is CD key cells. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check the links in the video description, click on those, and they will take you to the website where you can register an account and then buy your Windows 10 Pro OEM key. You can get 30% off and use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, apply this to your order, pay for your purchase, and then you will receive a legit key where you can activate your version of Windows. Okay, so let's get back to the actual a job in hand which is getting the drivers for this old laptop you want to check out snappy driver installer origin make sure it's by glenn denahoy these are the ones that you want to get this is the legit site for this particular program there is no other websites so the link is on the screen there you need to go to this location and you can download the portal application which will allow you to get all of the drivers that you need for your laptop. So here we are on the laptop with missing drivers and I'm going to click on the 64-bit uh, icon inside the folder once I've extracted it and this will open up the application. You may get Windows protected your PC, click on the more options and run anyway. It's safe to run on your PC. Click yes and this will open up the application. So here is the actual application. We need to accept their terms conditions and then what we need to do here, this box will open up saying Snappy Driver Installer Origin. What you want to do now is download the indexes only. There's an area at the bottom, click on this one, select download indexes only, and then this will open up uh, a scan on your system, which is going to scan for missing drivers. We're going to go over to expert mode here and put the tick in here, and you'll see a green section which will allow you to put the check marks in for unknown drivers, standard drivers, older drivers, current drivers, newer drivers, and all that sort of good stuff. Once the scan is complete, it will find drivers on your system. You can see we do have missing drivers on here, and there is no website to download these drivers. So what you can do on the screen, which is very difficult to see here, I'm going to create a restore point here and download the missing drivers for this laptop. I can put the check marks in the one that says uh, this uh, computer has missing drivers, and this will then go ahead and download all of these for us and then install them onto our laptop. So let's click on the install on the left hand side here. And what this is going to do is start downloading the driver packs for this particular uh, type of laptop. And it will then allow us to install them. This program will download the required drivers, unpack them and allow us to install them onto this laptop. Now this is a really quick and easy way of finding all of the missing drivers on your computer or on your laptop. Now, there may be some questions about the uh, safety of this particular program, and I've been using this program for many years and it is completely safe. As long as you're downloading from the correct website and the correct version, for instance, the Snappy Driver Installer Origin, and you need to download that version from uh, Glenn Delahoy, you should be perfectly fine because the program is safe. It's a portable application doesn't install itself on the computer and it will go off and download the correct drivers and install them on your PC. Now what a lot of laptop uh, manufacturers do is once the laptop becomes a certain age they make it discontinued and then they take away the ability to sometimes download the drivers for that particular laptop which can then cause a lot of problems if you need to download drivers again. Now this has always been an ongoing problem for many years about how to get drivers for your laptop or PC on really old hardware, which then suddenly becomes missing and you can't find updated drivers. Now, another issue that occurs is people will have an old laptop like this one, and this used to support Windows 7, and people have then upgraded and put Windows 10 on here, and sometimes it's very difficult to find drivers for Windows 10. And this can be another issue that you can run into where you have unknown drivers or missing drivers that now the Windows 7 ones are not working with. So you need to find something like this program, which will go ahead and find the correct drivers for you and get them installed. Once you've got all your drivers installed, you can then restart your laptop 
and then hopefully once you get back to the desktop all of the missing drivers will be found and you will have no you know, exclamation marks or missing drivers or unknown drivers in your device manager list like I showed you earlier on at the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and get back to the desktop here and we'll take a quick look at the device manager to see whether these drivers are actually uh, fixed. So this is now just booting up to the desktop. Yes, I know the screen is dusty. I'll give this a good clean before I give it back. And as you can see in the device manager, all of the drivers have been found and they've all been installed on this laptop and it's ready to go back to the person that owns it. And this means that this person will now have no problems uh, with using a lot of the hardware that's in this laptop because of the drivers have now been installed correct. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. So that's basically how you can fix the most common problem with old laptops concerning drivers or obsolete drivers which you can't find anymore. This program, Snappy Driver Installer Origin, is probably one of the best ways of getting drivers installed on your PC or laptop if it's pretty old. So if you like this type of content, then check out my YouTube channel. We have 2,500 plus videos on here on how to do things on your computer, whether it be building a computer, fixing a computer, or using your computer software reviews, hardware reviews, and fixing known issues with your PC. Also, while you're there, maybe consider subscribing and hitting the bell and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. And if you want to show your support a little bit more, you can join my YouTube members group. I've got three tiers of support uh, and they're all uh, different payment methods here. You can cancel at any time. They are reoccurring payments. You do get some added perks. You can also get your name added to the end credits of my video if you join the second line or third line of support. Just like these people rolling up on the screen right here that have joined my second line of support on my YouTube members page. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this sort of video. If you want to join our Discord server, the link is in the video description. If you've joined my YouTube members group and you are a YouTube member, then don't forget to let me know in the general chat and I'll give you the correct role for the tier that you have joined. Have a nice weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.